Hello YouTube, welcome to You and I Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Indeed, it is just you and I today. It's gonna be just me and the internet. We're gonna actually use the new file. I guess it doesn't matter, we're gonna do a daily run. Just tab. It's gonna be an Azazel run, so this should be pretty much... Pretty much a one run straight off the bat. Let's see. We are going to... I think that's Mom's Heart on the left there. We've got full card obviously, we start with Azazel. And now we just... Kill everything. Please die fly, thank you. Is that sort of oh, hello. Farting baby farts. Well, I'm hoping that's gonna do us some good join run. I, I have no idea what these items do, obviously. Afterbirth is a new game. Well, a new expansion to an existing game, but it's all very new to me at least. And I I'm not gonna spoiler it by looking at the wiki to you know figure out what half of these things do. Uh I'm going to try and figure it out as I go along. I don't really want to go to the shop, so I think I'm just going to leave. Do you know, Little Horn has basically been the first boss of <laughs> every first floor that I've played since I got this game. I'm wondering whether it's a bug. I know that Ed McMillan did say... Oh, uh, careful. Did say that he was going to release some bug fixes midweek. So maybe this is one of them, I don't know. Okay, that's, uh, HP is fine. We can probably use it for a deal with the devil on the next floor, actually, which is exactly what... You know, Isaiah's not a fast character, so we're looking to do boss rush, so we're going to want to be as powerful as we can for boss rush, although with this full card that you start with, we could just, you know, cheese it. That being said, we're on a daily run. Doing boss rush, I think, is going to be a lot more valuable than not. I've got a key. We can go in here. Uh, I'll take it. We'll try and kill ourselves on a deal with the devil if we can. Um, we're in exactly the right position to do that, which is nice. So you can take damage from that. No, of course you're not. That would be far too useful. Please go away. Ah. <laughs> we'll come back for that when we're Dark Judas, I think. It will at least. Oh, brain stand is no good. It will at least give us one HP, because Dark Judas spawns with just the two HP. Ah, oh, that was really bad. However, <laughs> we did find Small Rock. And we got to open that chest for free, and I probably shouldn't have picked that up either, but yeah, what's done is done. Okay, sir, okay, sir, okay, sir, sir, and what has been has been. Do you know? I'm glad we haven't had to deal with the the burning basement on this run because having a nice, familiar sort of you know vanilla-ish run, not obviously Isaac vanilla. Vanilla Afterbirth as well. This is a new one as well. You know, it's, it's nice to flex your whistle. Uh, I don't know what happened there. I'm guessing this thing is like Dry Baby but farting instead of Necronomicon effect. This thing is just going to. I assume they explode. Uh, yeah, we'll take this. But I wasn't going to give him time to figure it out. Uh, right, so we want to take both of these. It doesn't really matter what order we take them in. This will kill us and we'll come back as Dark Judas. Dead. Then we'll go back and get nine lives. Don't forget it. Uh, we're not Azazel, of course. This actually may have been a, a bad decision. I don't know whether our damage is now a lot better or a lot worse. We'll see. Um, this is obviously a daily challenge, so everyone can have a go at this. Everyone who's got the game. We'll see how well we do. I'd be interested to find out whether other people make the same decision I do. <laughs> I'm still in Azazel mode. I want to keep releasing the button to fire my brimstone laser. Of course, I don't have one. We did get a range down on this floor, but it doesn't seem to be affecting us a considerable amount. There's an easy room. There's a bomb in there. We'll go back for the The couple of new enemies on the basement is a lot easier to deal with than an entirely new basement. We'll open that because we have a gold key. We want to keep our full card because even though we've probably slowed ourselves down quite a lot, I still half expect it. Oh, we will go to that shop, actually. I know, backtracking, slowing down, my score's going down. Uh, but this may have been worth it if we can get them. <laughs> we can't get any money for it, unfortunately. Uh, we'll see what this is. Full card, brilliant. Thanks, game. You know, Pete's theory that these first few um, daily seeds are troll seeds set up by the game's makers is not without merit. I'll be honest. So I'm going to be releasing, ooh, maybe these um, 
these daily runs the day after I play them. So if anyone wants to play along, I don't want them to accidentally spoiler it for themselves, not realising that they've done it, which is something I'm in danger of doing, watching other people do their dailies. So I'm making sure to do my daily runs before I sit down and vegetate in front of the TV. Oh, I saw that shooting me and I still walked into it. That was what we call bad damage. You, uh, I do not like. Please die, thank you. Look at the size of that little dude. I hope he dies quicker. Yeah. Uh, might want to consider looking for pills, but... You know, I've only found one so far. So our pill rotation has not been that great. And that's even worse. You know, uh, a Dark Judas Death's Touch run is a pretty nice way to start you know, getting back into this game. Obviously, an Azazel run is probably slightly more powerful than a Dark Judas Death's Touch run, but at the same time, it it's not as interesting. Azazel's fun in a sort of a, you know, just wiping out everything sort of way, but, you know... Sometimes you just want one of those runs that is somewhere between guaranteed and a challenge. And Azazel runs are just guaranteed, you know? But we'll see how we do while we rank. We have currently 15 hours left on the, uh, the the daily countdown, so I guess that puts us one third of the way through, approximately. Uh, I don't. Oh, I haven't got a spacebar right, so we might as well take it. But what are we going to do? It's not like we can go past Mom's heart. And into trying to fight Mega Satan anyway. This is a. Ah, that was really difficult. <laughs> I, I just froze. I panicked like a deer in headlights. Oh, you're still alive, are you? Okay, good. Uh, we will go to the boss. I didn't really want to try and. What well, am I going to buy from the shop? Spirit Heart. It's going to cost you one of my three keys. I'd rather save them for later on when I've got a better chance of maybe getting an actual oh, help item. Keeping me is fine, it's the second orbital. No deal with the devil, and I think we'll just go down. Time is of the essence, this is a daily run. Time counts towards the score. As long as I'm ahead of that boss rush clock, I think I'm going to be okay. Oh, that's even more tempting than the last one was. Right, if we have enough keys at the end of all of this, I will consider doing that room, but I'm mostly going to do this room. Glad I had a bomb. I didn't check. That was risky because they blow up a lot more quickly than I expected them to, and I didn't get a single spirit heart out of four blue fires. I I think this is a setup, frankly. I think this has been designed to irritate and upset me. I'm going to kill these red fires because they tend to shoot me. Uh, this is kind of like the, uh, the original basement. It's nice to have a little bit of variety in what is otherwise a very familiar floor without having to deal with the uh, extreme unfamiliarity of a brand new floor with a whole host of brand new enemies. Mr. Boom, I can see forever. Can see I'm going to keep forever. Mr. Boom. And I know this may be a controversial decision, but Daski is basically going to do nothing for us except get us into the item room and the shop for free, right? It's not even going to open this door if we set off the trap, which we are going to do. Uh, okay, I don't really want to fight Mega Fassi, but excuse me. You clearly fired behind you and yet hurt me. When I was in front of you, I caused shenanigans. Mega Fassi's going down pretty quick, although I did do some Sack Dag orbital damage to him at the start. And took damage myself, which was <laughs> obviously non ideal. And this is the uh, non champion version of this son of a bitch. Who... This is a really easy boss, but I still can't do it. <laughs> I'm still really bad at it. I'm going to take this. Uh, we'll use this. We don't need to worry about the bombs to get into this. Ooh. I probably should have waited until I had a bit more uh, likelihood of leaving this floor without taking damage, but... I didn't need to do that because I just picked up HP. Why can't I pick up that key, uh, coin, please? Hello? No? Please? <laughs> I don't even know what that's all about. Maybe that's another troll thing in the game. Edmund. A luck upgrade. That's interesting. What is this? Marked. Directed tears. Oh no, what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think common wisdom would suggest that I use the mouse for this. But uh, common wisdom be damned, I'm not going to. 
I am probably not going to be a fan of this. Uh, once, once we know sort of more about the way the items work in this game, I think we can start making more, more reasoned and sensible decisions about whether we're not, whether or not we actually pick something up. But for now. It's all a journey of discovery. I can't go with this. This is like an even worse version of Ludo. Ludo is a pretty decent item, don't get me wrong. But I have great mental trouble passing it. And you can have a secret room in this gap. Which is very interesting to know. Because I, I assume that you couldn't, basically. No, we need to get out of here before we lose the spirit heart. Uh, eternal heart, sorry. Where is my cross? There you are. This is pretty difficult to deal with. Because it's not like Epic Thesis where the lag is, you know, you just preempt where the enemies are going to be and stand back. It's not like Ludo where it does direct damage. Oh, we can just take it straight away. That was really good. I'm very much a fan of that. I can stop worrying so much about... Um, although we have used... We have taken red heart damage, so we've probably put paid to our deal with the devil. That's okay. We're only, I was going to say half expecting. We we're three quarters expecting one. It's not, you know, it's not, you know, God, why? Die. Oh, I've got, um, piercing shots, of course, which shits all over carrying cream. And we did get a deal with the devil anyway, so, well, that's certainly up, I suppose. And we can take this, because even though it costs us both our hearts, we have no lives. Lives are a commodity. Kind of wishing I hadn't used that eternal heart now, but. Eh, what's done is done. Let's go. Again, nine lives. What's two HP versus one HP when you've got nine lives? If we start getting, you know, a really good good run with help, help, um, you know, a shitload of spirit hearts and five HP behind us, so I don't really want to do that. Then I will probably consider not using my lives as expendable, but as they are, I am my own red shirt. This is probably a secret room, because it always is. Oh, we've also got a little brimstone. It's going to be really difficult to charge up because we're going to be controlling our tears in the most awkward way. Whilst trying to get little brimstone... Yeah, I don't think little brimstone is going to be any good, especially not in that position. Oh, double... Help, help! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe I was not remotely prepared for what just happened. Maybe you can tell. We're going here. Oh. Entrance. Blow that up. Gars will... Daygars. Sorry. Book of Shadows. Eh, it's probably better than Mr. Boom. We have, have a bomb. It's not plenty of bombs, but at the same time. Bombs are not quite as valuable as not dying, I think. And here's the red, uh, the black card that we were talking about. Colorblind mod, uh, as noted on the previous video with Pete. Um does change the graphics to various things. It's supposed to be balanced to help the people who literally can't tell the difference, e.g. between uh, the, the red hearts and the black hearts, which is something I did have trouble with. But without really ruining the the game for people, because obviously there's things like Tinted Drops, for example, it doesn't make those stand out ridiculously, which is a, an option when you going around changing them. Oh my god, I can't cope with this many things at once. Ah! We lost our black heart, but that's okay. Uh, I probably don't want that. I'll go in here and actually take... I think we should do it in this order. It's going to cost a bit extra, but we've got, you know, at least one floor left after this. And we'll take the spirit heart for a bit of extra survivability, and we may start thinking that this is the life that we want to preserve. Now, I haven't used Book of Shadows yet, which is probably a bit of a misplay, because I did get that Temperance card. Ah, yes, of course, we have um, Piercing Shots, but not Spectral Tears. But we can use a little Brimstone to good effect here. Uh, the, the Book of Shadows could have done us some good with the Temperance card. Maybe it could have got us a few extra cents. I'm honestly not that bothered. Um, possibly a bit of a misplay. Possibly not going to make any difference at all because we've only got one shop left. We've got 11 cents left after the uh, shop that we did buy, and we bought. Oh, that's very lucky. Uh, we bought Steam Cell. So, 
But I can't I can't dodge and aim this thing at the same time. My brain is not cut out for this sort of thing. But doing this circle strafing is pretty neat. It's proper leap strats right now. Uh yeah, I think I'm I'm good with that. Oh, I haven't fought you yet. This thing is just <laughs> Well, we're sitting all over it. In fact we can probably consider boss rush. Since our time is, you know, 13 minutes and that's the end of Necropolis 1. So it's basically going as fast as Azer Run would have been. We've got a look upgrade and an HP upgrade, which has given us 4 HP for the first time in quite a long time, if you include the, you know, the shield hearts, whatever you want to call them. So we may want to consider our life 7 to be our actual life. Unless a very good value proposition comes along. Or I take a lot of stupid damage against probably these things. Yeah, I'm probably... My brain is slowly working its way around this item that I picked up and wish I hadn't. I'm hoping to get maybe... Oh, where'd my full card go? That was really stupid. I think I forgot it when I picked up the Degas rune. The Degas rune. What are you... I don't even know. So we'll use some bombs. Uh, survivability is fine. And we could fight boss rush in this situation. I'm not worried about that particularly. I found pills. Well, <laughs> very much glad that I paid for PhD. So, uh, obviously working wonders for us right now. I wonder what I can... Oh, not a fan of that. I do like these new uh, little bags that you get. Judgment. Hmm. Arms. I'll just use that. Answers. So we've got a curse room, we've got a... Uh, uh, Celtic Cross is a nice vanilla item that I can understand. We could theoretically get into the boss trap room, but I'm going to say that it's probably going to put us so far behind the curve in terms of time. It's not worth doing. I mean, we could go to the, the arcade there, knock ourselves down by a heart, get into the boss trap room, fight the boss, which is, a you know, another time investment that I'm not wholly comfortable with just to get you know what's likely to be a golden chest even if perks I don't know what that did but I took it secret room here thanks to map well at least it let me actually pick up the thing and we can get into the can't bomb our way into it but we can get into it the shop is what I'm thinking of so I'm going to try to remember that these things are going to shoot at me orthogonally. Also, I'm going to try and kill them before they do so. Excellent. Alright, I'm, I think I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So we have to kill these ones now. They're just an extra annoyance, I think. They're not... They're just um, bomb flies without the bomb, or the other, you know, six-way explodey flies without the six-way explodey. That is the normal heart. But I'm going to... Ah, oh, the full card. Yes. Exactly what we needed. And um, keys aren't going to be much use for us, so I'm not going to sweat taking that. Whoa, hello. I'm probably going to use Sack Dag for this. A lot. Because... <laughs> Sack Dag will both protect us from the shots and do a hell of a lot of damage to the hearts. Second secret room gives us... Uh, I'd probably blow it up. I don't really want to waste the time on... You know, um... Actually... Playing that thing. I don't think the stuff that we can get out of it is going to be worth it in terms of points for the time we spent. Oh, that was a bigger hitbox than I thought. But we've got plenty of time to do. Doesn't matter because we're not going to go there. Oh, hi, Krampus. No shooting. Good. Lump of Colt really helps. I probably would not have been replacing Book of Shadows. What have we got? I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's flush, which is not good. Only two items on this boss room. Well, we'll take this one then. Evil Eye, Eye Shot. Is it gonna... What's it doing? Can't tell. Well, we'll leave. We want to get points. We could min-max the floor a little bit. I think in terms of points, not doing that is gonna be better. I'm still not sure whether this Judas' Shadow was the best play. But we've done it. Okay, just two wounds left. Kind of wondering whether it would have been a better idea to keep hold of uh, my mapping rune. 
because I would have been able to pick it up if I was intending to leave Boss Rush as I was, which I succeeded in doing. I could have gone back, got my Anzu's room. Still not going to learn the fact that there are ways to pronounce these things that are not the ways that the people on YouTube have taught me how to pronounce. So I'm just going to keep saying them wrong. Uh, okay. We'll check this. It's probably not worth it. Again, a time investment is what we're looking at there. Do these... We do get... I think picking up coins is probably worth a little bit more than the time it takes you to pick them up. So I'm, whoa, there's a poop. Careful there. You may have noticed red poop is spotty. That's the colourblind mod again. We can fly, so we'll open this. And yeah, I think it was worthwhile, especially with the black heart in there. Uh, I'm looking for a tinted rock. I'm not seeing one. I'm not going to spend too long looking for tinted rocks. Because, you know, the, the time is ticking down. You did get exploration bonus as well, so every time you go into a new room, you get a few extra points with which to fight that room. Do you want to pop up? Because, you know, time is part of the game now, bro. Thank you. Can't really make any use out of little brimstone, which is very unfortunate. Do we get points for this? Yeah, 20 points. So unless it takes you about 20 seconds to pick up a bomb, it's worth it. Oh, this is not going to go well for you, my friend. That was a very fast... Oh! <laughs> a very fast explosion, a very fast envy bomb. Yeah, so the, the troll bombs also explode slightly faster, so you can't bump around them and run away. Uh, how do we... You know what? Just do that. Uh, you may have one not necessarily noticed, but no, I cannot stop shooting. <laughs> so this is... Normally you want to. The fact that I've got Death's Touch is extremely helpful in this respect because it's going to go through things that otherwise not being able to stop shooting would be a problem for, e.g. Oh, I thought that was a locked door, but it's not, so I'm going to keep going this way. After I've opened this, which gave us pills, which gave us puberty and full health. What's this? Answers. Why? How long have I had that? Answers. Okay, well I'm not going to go back to the secret room because I don't really care. Um. There's enough chance that it could give us an excellent item that I would wish that I had picked up. Why don't you play it and tell me? Meanwhile, I'm just going to leave. I think a nickel is a little bit more in terms of points than a single penny. Definitely makes it worth picking up. And I got hit. Just, just don't die. I think that's the important lesson here. I have got seven lives, but... Yeah, if you want to give me some spirit hearts and not kill me, that would be splendid. Let's get rid of this thing first. Good. I'm not sure how to... Because I can't control Lil Brimstone there. And... Man, what is all this about? Open up! There we go. Uh, there's a Tinted Dog right here. Excellent! That's what we like to see. This is going to be quick. These narrow rooms with something like Death's Touch, which is you know, wide piercing shots, just. It's going to die. And actually, this is a really good synergy for this new item that we found. Okay, no deal with the devil. Well, screw you. Although the you know, one floor left doesn't matter too much. I think we're balling out of control right now. We haven't picked up a huge damage upgrade for quite some time, but at the same time, um, we haven't necessarily needed one. Well, now we have to go back to peering at these to try and figure out whether they're tinted rocks or not. Tinted rocks on the scarred room is a lot easier to see. I haven't actually... <laughs> I know I said I would take... Um, don't really need that. I know I said I would take the Book of Shadows over... Um, what have we had before? What did we have before? Something shit. Ah, uh, you're one of those, are you? Okay, then. That's Celtic Cross there, giving me the invincibility. Um, I genuinely can't remember. Oh, it was uh, the Mr. Boom, wasn't it? But I've literally not used it <laughs> since I said I would do that. We're going to have to stop shooting in this direction. Maybe you sack dag with some of these? Yeah, that worked. Can you fucking pop up? Stress me out, bro. 
Let's see that guy. Also, I don't actually want to be here. That was an epic mistake. Never done it. We will go through here. Ah, golden bump. That's quite rare. I've not seen one of those. Puberty? No. Hematomesis? No. Addicted? What does that do? Well, I took it. We'll find out. I'm very vibrate in the face area. Let's put you here. There we go. Uh, I should probably open that. The points are probably worth the time. We'll find out. Maybe. Perks. Yeah, so I don't know what that does. Although I like the perky way he says it. Can you use it? Perks. Perky, you see? I'm a fan of it. This constant firing, as noted, is fine simply because my tears are not going to interrupt anything that I'm doing, like placing bombs. If you hold down the fire key whilst playing the actual game, you'll quickly realise that shooting your own bombs is a terrible idea. I can't currently do that. Oh! Steven in that chest. That was very worthwhile. I expect. <laughs> I think. I'm not entirely sure how valuable Steven is right now. Piercing shot. Uh, I'm going to have to actually shoot you, aren't I? There we go. Not piercing shots, then... The, the magical seeking, tracking, guided tears. I think that's what Steven does anyway. Ooh, hello. This is another good synergy. If we put this here, we can just keep going in circle signs. Yeah, it looks like um, Farty Baby is just Dry Baby without an Economicon. So that was uh, my position 3 to 48. My time is a lot. Very low. I wonder how many people actually played. That was pretty good though. 23 minutes Dark Judas Rumble. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, let me know. If you didn't enjoy it, let me know. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next one.